What's up everyone, welcome to today's video, welcome to the Video Game Fry School channel, thank you very much for tuning in. In my last video, when I asked the question, is it impossible to make a Superman game, I predicted that I was going to get comments that said it was more than likely not going to be possible, and I said in that video that I have an idea that I know will work based on what I've seen from video games who take that style and implement it very well, having accomplished, and like clockwork, I got my first distract detractor. So we're going to look at the roasting that I got over this and them goading me to try to unveil my ideas, which I have no interest to do. And the reason I have no interest to unveil my ideas is specifically because it is an idea that I think Warner Brothers should be able to figure out if they want to actually give, you know, the Superman game to anybody who can actually take on it. And if they're going to even do anything, let them go ahead and do it their way. I'm not trying to sell my ideas like this person said. Can you imagine this person said this? They said, Video Fight School, yeah, LOL, exactly. Some no-name YouTuber wants to entertain offers on his idea on how to make a Superman game, thinking nobody, anybody will pay for it. I never said I wanted to entertain the, uh, any offers. I don't want one of They don't even have the money. They, you know, let's, not, let's stop joking around because if we want to joke around, I, I got jokes too, right? Or that's actually going to be considered by an actual developer or go anywhere in the conceptual stage or that somebody else didn't already come up with. There are more people that spend more time thinking how a Superman game cannot be made rather than people spending time thinking how a Superman game can be made from the fan base. So what I decided to do was, I'm still not going to tell anybody my ideas, but I thought it would be cool if we look at the implementation of Superman games that have been done online. And apparently there is a good number of them that we know and there's a good number of them that we've actually seen uh, from community projects like on Unreal Engine and so on and so forth. There's one that I thought was very interesting and the interest level of a game like this is, you know, or I'll say of a project like this is quite low. When you go online and when you look at how many views this video has, I wonder and I say to myself, really, this is about it? Because I thought this was actually pretty cool, the way they actually set it up and all of the above. So on a base level, what they've done here is they've taken, you know, this particular base here. This is a, a map and they've basically made some land, you know, scapes. They've put some tanks, some turrets that seem to be moving around. This is done in Unreal Engine 5 and they've done some world, uh, you know, some open world structures and they've done a cinematic to start Superman and he's going to belt his way and pretty much going to try to destroy this base. Let me give you guys some audio here and that way you guys can kind of get a feel as to, you know, what might be going on here. So that, you know, there, there's some audio that's going on and it's actually pretty well done. I don't want it to go mask, you know, my voice, but just know that it is a thing. And so with this particular game and after watching the video, I'm just going to give you guys a synopsis. You can go watch the channel on the, you know, on the channel that the YouTuber has it on. You see Superman going into the base, you know, pummeling people. This is really good work. Now, you might say, you know, it doesn't necessarily look like you see in a triple A game and it has some you know, issues and whatnot. But this is better than, you know, this is pretty much a prototype that will be done in, uh, for the most part, some video game studios. If you actually go ahead and think about things. Because at the end of the day, you know, games like these, this is usually how they start. They start from the conceptualization phase and then eventually make their way into, you know, alpha and all of that stuff. So this concept is actually really solid. It shows Superman pretty much working in a remote area and is taking out, you know, bad guys and is doing a really good job at it. You know, picking up this particular truck is one of his abilities and he can basically throw it at enemies and destroy them. And if you notice, the enemy classes that are put here are both human enemy classes, which, you know, he's able to punch them. And I would say droid classes, which the enemy classes, the human enemy classes are the ones that you would have to suspend belief for. But the droid classes work. But all this to say that you can make it happen. But this is not even my idea. This is just an idea that somebody did as a hobbyist project and just, you know, showcase the possibility of being able to do it. There's also another very famous you know, I would say Superman project called Undefeated. It's a game on Steam that was actually done by a, uh, a class of students from a game design school somewhere, I think, in Japan or Korea. And what they did was they basically made, a, you know, a game about a superhero character 
that really is very strong. I mean, that only reminds you of Superman. Even this game itself is also very impressive. The way that they've been able to pull it off, the way they have the ability to do material changes whenever he lands or hits the ground, the way they can do the, you know, interesting flying mechanics, having him boost around. Those things are actually pretty cool, the way that they set everything up. I was quite impressed when I, I mean, it's free too. You can actually play it for free because, you know, you can't commercialize something like this. I mean, you probably could with a different name, different character, but the likeness of this character is, is, you know, speaking Superman and so on and so forth. So these are mini games that have been designed for the, the Superman character that are out there. So when I saw this comment that kept, you know, pretty much trying to make fun of me, telling me about, oh, you know, what kind of what ideas do you have and all this stuff? I was laughing because I was like, has this person not, you know, gone around to educate themselves that a lot of concepts have already made their way out there? Uh, the flying mechanics, being able to build the world. And from here, if you continue to think, you can actually think yourself into a viable open world Superman game. And so that already is a box that's checked. But here's the crazy part. My idea is not even <laughs> it's not even an open world Superman game because you don't even need that. You could do one. But if you were thinking through very carefully, you would realize that there are just so many story beats for the character. This is one of the most popular characters in all of superhero world. That's Superman. I don't see how, you know, a game for him has not been made. I think with the way the world is gone now and the way, you know, a lot of the media is no longer focusing on traditional characters, I think that's probably going to be the biggest challenge more than anything else to getting a Superman game, not necessarily just the, uh, you know, the difficulty in making the game, if you get what I mean. I think the difficulty is going to be in the priority of what the, you know, the publishers are wanting to make or what they want their developers to make or what the developers themselves want to make. Because without these, you know, folk actually dialing into these projects, it's going to be very difficult for us to be able to see a game like that. But here's the thing. There are other characters that have that kind of strength that are not DC based characters that are in other universes. And I think if somebody is actually paying attention, they can start to see how these other characters have also been written. And you can then see how a video game can be made from them, even though my idea is still even not that. And many of you already know what I'm talking about. I mean, if you were scratching your head trying to wonder which other character this is, it's Omni-Man from Invincible. He has crazy strength. Yes, he's not Superman. However, if you were making a video game for Omni-Man, and you, which he already is in a video game, by the way, he's already in Mortal Kombat 1, they're already having to, you know, step quietly in there. And if Superman ain't going to get a game, Omni-Man's going to get one ahead of him and take in all the sales. So the blueprint is there. The blueprint is very obvious as to the fact that this is something that can happen. And no longer are we having the conversation about, oh, how is it going to go? I think Warner Brothers is just sleeping at the wheel. You see, one of the biggest challenges that I think, and this is a criticism. I mean, yes, I don't have experience in dealing executive stuff. But one of the biggest reasons I have for Warner Brothers is a lot of their execs don't seem to really pay very close attention into harnessing a lot of what their DC you know, IPs are capable of doing in the gaming world in the movies they have a lot of focus there in the animated series there's a lot of focus there but when it comes to gaming it seems like they are only thinking to themselves yeah let's just keep this stuff in house when marvel already has the formula down there's going to be an iron man game there's going to be a black panther game there's going to be a captain america and a black panther game uh you know the <laughs> There are going to be a lot of Marvel games coming. There's been Spider-Man games that have come. There'll be a Wolverine game coming. There'll be a Venom game. There'll be X-Men coming from the leaks that we saw. Marvel has got it down. They don't have to do the work. DC feels like it has to do the work. If they would leverage their Superman IP and their other IPs to other studios, they'll easily accomplish it. And this is me not even still sharing my idea. And I'm, you're seeing possibilities open because it's not rocket science. It is not rocket science at all. So to the gentleman that was trying to roast me, um, <laughs> I applaud your efforts. But again, this is not something that we haven't spoken about in the, you know, in the fandom community. 
I think the biggest challenge that you're going to find is, you know, at the end of the day, it's a waste of breath to try to talk in a meaningful way to somebody who is hard, fast, determined to be pessimistic about something. You really can't do much for them. You just have to kind of let them just keep talking. And then hopefully somebody who is thinking very carefully about this finds themselves in a position where they can influence the decision. And then, boom, the game is made. If you get what I mean. And so that's all I'm going to say for now. I don't want to talk too much about this, so I don't go spill anything. But, you know, it's nice to just see the conversation go on. And I think I'll probably go back to making these, you know, can a Superman game be made videos? And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.